name and his name off the Bistro's late license. Well, how are you going to do that? I'm not. I keep telling him I'm not David Lane. Oh, Harry uh, just said, does he have to go to Gales? Gales? Yeah, he does. I'm working from home. He'll just get bored. Oh, hey, come to Do you realise it's 8.15 in the morning? So? It's too early. Well, it's not. We're family. Anyway, you're always at David's. If it's about the late licence, you'll have to contact him yourself. Yeah, but he won't return my calls. Well, you need his signature on those documents if you want to be completely free of him. Oh, well, can't you email him? I don't know, threaten him. On what basis? He's not done anything wrong from a business point of view. You just have to keep chasing. Right, well, maybe I'll forge it. That would be a serious offence. OK, OK. I'll... That's why you're taking the day off work, to intercept it? Well, I'll just keep nipping down to the lobby. The courier might need me to sign for it. And if you do get your hands on it? I don't know. I'll rip it up. So he'll ring the clinic again? Yeah, I, I know. It's not perfect. Yeah, and you'll pack Harry after your mother's and take another day off work? Well, I, I work mainly from home anyway, so... Yeah, rip up uh, the new letter? Oh, right, I, I know. I get it. I, it's, it's just the best that I can do right now. Tell him the truth. I don't want to lose him. Oh, this little one. Quarter past eight doesn't strike me as overly early. I mean, she barges into number eight whatever time she wants. Yeah, that's what Nick said. Oh, and the scan, that's all right to get that? I believe so. They're just young, busy people, and I'm in the way. Well, that can be solved, sweetheart, because my spare room is still as you left it. Wow. I'm running the factory single-handedly, though I don't tell Sarah I said that, or Carla, so it's not very befitting if I'm living with my mother. I'm grateful though I am for the offer. Well, I could put a lovely electric blanket on the bed. It's July. Oh. So I'm going to have to apologize to Tim again. Is that what you're getting at? No, not at all. But you know, it was my home as, as much as hers. So what about the letter? You're right. You would have just asked for another one. Listen, I, I could wait upstairs for you. Keep popping down to the lobby. The, the postman shouldn't be much longer. Oh, I told you it's the courier. Oh, the, the, the courier. Oh, what is the point? Do you want him to find out? I don't know. Listen, maybe I can help. How? Well, I, I can't make any promises, but sit tight and, and, and don't say anything to Adam. I am going to have to go. The copier was uh, jammed. Oh, have you seen these new international shipping fees? It's so shy. Well, uh, we'll shop around. Neither will yeah, you. well, maybe get Kirk on it, because, you know, he's our man in the know. He's got friends in high places and all that. What are you doing on your own? I see standards are slipping now I'm not here. Well, uh, Harry uh, hurt his arm, and I told her not to come back. Super duper. Give us a call if you need me. OK. Hold your horses, Stephen. What can I do for you? Been talking to me, Mum. Oh, yeah, how is she? Well, she's not right happy that you left the flat. Left? All right, I kicked you out. Yeah, well, it's still the same result. I'm living out of a suitcase at my niece's apartment. Sorry, did I give you the impression that I care? No, you didn't. Well, luckily for you, she doesn't. She wants you to move back in until she's decided what to do with you. Great, that's, that's really great. I just want to make amends. Well, she wants it all above board. Of course. Elaine is a very generous... And she'd be expecting rent. And then Jay. Hey, news just in. I'm moving back to my apartment. I have been trying to get through to that clinic for ages. Problem? I don't know. Yeah, maybe. I mean, right, look, see for yourself. So Adam's the father now, apparently. I mean, how the hell has it happened? Looks good, doesn't it? You know, I wasn't sure he'd uh, fall for it, uh, being a solicitor and all, but, uh, well, you're welcome. This was you? Of course. Why? Well, I, I knew you wanted that letter, so when the courier handed it to me, I just, uh, improvised. See, you forged it. Uh, brilliantly, too, if I say so myself. 
So what what's happened to the actual letter? I shredded it. Look, I, I know you need a moment to uh, process this, so uh, why don't I pack my things and you can have a cup of herbal tea or something. Hmm. Seriously, who does that? The first, you take my letter out of the bin, then you steal the second letter, shred it, and fake the results all without me asking. Uh, well, I, I, I agree. When you put it like that, it, it, it does sound... Uh... Weird? Odd? Mad? I did it for you. You you do know that. Why? Why did I let you talk me into even finding out the results? I think I preferred not knowing. Adam would have wanted proof anyway. And I gave him that. Now, was it unorthodox? Yes, but sometimes you have to take a risk. Now, like Richard Branson said, you don't learn to walk by following rules. Brilliant. Oh, great. Thanks. What does Richard Branson say about forging documents? Because this is not a TED Talk. This is my life. And you just, you had no right. So should I have waited for Adam to find out you'd been lying? You know, watch your marriage implode. I can't do this anymore. Oh, take it from me. When it comes to protecting the things you actually give a damn about, you'll be amazed at what you can do. Damon is gone. And what if he comes back? Then the baby is yours and Adam's. And now, you have the paperwork to prove it. Now think of your family. Harry, Adam, the baby. Fall apart now, and you'll take them all down with you. Now what's it gonna be? Well, one day, uh, you look back at this and realize you did the right thing. You, you took control. Maybe. Stephen, I need you to promise me something. Name it. Stop interfering in my life. I, I, no, I promise me. Okay. Okay. I, I promise. Hey, where, where are you? No more interfering, remember. Hey, Stephen. Come and join us. Hey. Everything okay? Yeah, it couldn't be better. Pull up a pier. Listen, I want to organize something for Sarah so we can draw a line under everything that's happened. Move on. Excellent idea. What do you have in mind? A surprise gender reveal party. Oh, another American fad foisted onto us. Uh, like school proms. I mean, what's wrong with fifth year disco? <laughs> Hey, listen, I think a gender uh, reveal party is a great idea, and uh, Sarah's going to love it. Agreed. We should find out the baby sex on Monday. I've arranged for the party planners to take the call. I'm going to need your help to make it happen, OK? Oh, OK. Sounds like it's going to uh, need a little bit of organising. What can I do? Tell you a lot about it, but they can't breathe a word. I'll be in touch with all the details when I get them, OK? Let's give Sarah a party to remember. Then we can finally have some closure, eh, Grandad? Here's to Uncle Sam. Oh, hey. <laughs> 